Yes, fellow problem solvers, John is here, as you know. So, in the bigger picture of transformation, we are now translating triangles. Just like you translate a message from one language to another, to take one shape from this position to another. Share, like, and subscribe. Welcome back, fellow problem solvers. So, yes, we're continuing with this journey of transformation and translation. But now we're going to zoom in on translation of triangles. So remember, just like we understand translation as, let's say, changing a sentence from English to Afrikaans or from Afrikaans to Spanish, just like that, I want you to understand that the moment we translate a shape, the shape does not change, only the position. Just like with the language, the meaning did not change. It's only the medium, the language that changed. So, if two shapes or three tri two triangles are exactly the same, super equal to, and that is your clue, super equal to is another quick way of understanding congruency. Do you remember congruency? Congruency is when the shape is exactly the same. Same corresponding size, same corresponding angles. So this is important. Once we translate, we don't change the shape. We are just changing the position. Okay, let's do a few examples. So let's say, for instance, triangle ABC is being translated with the following rule. X plus 3, Y minus 2. Okay, remember this rule will apply to each and every vertices of this triangle to A, to B, and to C. Now, for me personally, it's uh, the easiest to work with one coordinate and then just apply the same changes to the other coordinate. Okay, so A's current coordinate is negative 7. Remember, it's first the X, then the Y. Then the Y is 3. B's current coordinate is at a negative 4 and a 7. C's current coordinate is at a negative 3 and a 3. So now we are translating it to a new coordinate. A accent. Let me just do this part in, let's say, blue. A accent, B accent, C accent. Okay. So if the rule is x plus 3, then we say negative 7 plus 3 and it becomes a negative if the rule is y minus 2, we will say 3 minus 2, so that becomes a 1. Okay, the same here with b, from negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, 7 minus 2 is 5, c, negative 3 plus 3 is a 0, and the y will be a 3 minus 2, that will become a 1. Let's plot these coordinates, so a's new coordinate is negative 4, and 1. So right over there. And that is A accent. B's new coordinate is negative 1, 5. And it will be right over there. And C's new coordinate is and 0 and 1. It will be right over there. So let's draw our new triangle. And you will notice it did not change shape at all. It's still the same triangle, it's just translated to a new position, just like with language, you translate it into a new language, but the meaning stays the same. So here you can see this is a true example of translation of triangles. So this was example one. We'll do one more, example two. And over here, I'm going to give you the coordinates, and you need to uh, tell me what the rule was. Okay. So, we start with our triangle A accent, B accent, C accent, okay? So, can you see we're starting with the blue one? Negative 4, 1, negative 1, 5, 0, and 1. And now, we are translating it to a new position. And I'm going to make this triangle, let's make this one a red triangle or now let's make it green 
Maybe not to confuse you, let me just draw this triangle red. So it corresponds. And then the new one, I will draw green. Okay. So if we translate this again, the new coordinate is a double accent. B, double accent. C, double accent. Because it underwent another translation or transformation. Now remember we are focusing on translation. Okay, so where it was a negative 4, uh, it became a 1. Okay. Where it was a negative 1, it became a 4. When it was a 0, it became a 5. For the y values, where it was a 1, it became negative 3. Where it was a 5, it became 1. Where it was a 1, it became negative 3 once again. Now my question is, what is the rule? How did it translate? And then after, thereafter, we will um, draw the triangle. Okay, let's see. Remember, that it's easiest to focus on one coordinate and then just apply the rest. Negative 4, 201. So we had to add 5. Can you see that? Let's test that with all the other x values. Remember, x is the first position. Y is the second. Negative 1 to 4. We added 5. 0 to 5. We added 5. Let's look at y. It went from a 1 to a negative 3. That means we've subtracted 4. Let's see. 5 minus 4 is 1. It works out. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. It works out perfectly. So let's draw our new triangle. So a double accent is at 1 and negative 3. It's right over there. B double accent is at 4 and 1. It's right over there. And C double accent is at 5. And negative 3 is right over there. Let's draw our new triangle. And again, as you can see, no change in shape, only position. There we go. This is the crux of translation of triangles. Stay tuned for more on transformation.